Have you ever wondered what the markings on a power cord mean? Probably not, but today we're gonna go over what they are and why they're important. Today on All right, so here on the workbench, I have four examples of power cords that you're gonna see throughout your residence. Um, here's a cable to a receiver. Here's some flexible SJOOW cable. Here's some Romex. And then here is also my power cord to my air compressor. So we're gonna go through these and give you an example of what all the different insulation ratings are. All right, so let's start with Romex. Romex is just a household name for the wiring that is in your household between all your outlets and what you can find at Home Depot. Uh, Romex is just the trade name, it, but the real name for Romex is actually NMB. And so here on your first two letters is NM, so that means non-metallic sheathing, and B means it's rated for 90 degrees. And now we have 12-2, and 12-2 just means it's a number 12 gauge wire, two of those conductors with a ground. So this total means there's three wires in this jacket, and this jacket is rated to 600 volts. All right, so we're going to move on to the receiver cable. Hopefully you can pick this up, but this is a type SVT cable, which is a vacuum power cord. And it is 3 times 18 aught, so there's three number 18 copper wires in here. And this jacket is rated for 60 degrees C and 300 volts. All right, so here is the SJOOW cord. And so as you can see, here's the type SJOOW. It's rated for 300 volts and can operate between negative 40 degrees C to 90 degrees C and is water resistant. All right, here's the power cord to my air compressor. And as you can see, it is an SJT cord, which means service cord, junior service, and thermoplastic. Um, it is rated to 105 degrees C and has three conductors and a number 16 gauge wire. And this cable is also rated for 300 volts and is listed for CSA. So what do all those numbers and letters mean and why should you care? Great question. All right, back to the cord types that we presented earlier. We have SVT, SJOOW, SJT, and NMB cable. So let's get over here. So each one of these letters consists of a meaning. And so S means service cord. And what a service cord is, is just a portable, flexible cord. J means junior service. And so this just means the cord has to be rated for 300 volts usually. T is thermoplastic, and thermoplastic is usually just the insulation type on the actual wire and not on the jacket. And V is vacuum cord, and so that is usually a light duty rated cord, usually indoors, you know, obviously on your vacuum and something that you wouldn't use outside. OO means oil resistant and 10 means oil resistant for just your jacket and two O's means oil resistant for both the inside insulation and your jacket have an oil resistant layer on it. W means weather and water resistant. And so what this means is more of an outdoor use cord. It can be out in the weather and not deteriorate. In M cord, that stands for non-metallic sheath cable. And so this is just the jacket that is on the outside of Romex, not necessarily the insulation that is around the wires in the actual Romex. And B just means this Romex is rated for 90 degrees C. Okay, so let's put that all together here. Back onto this example of SJOW cord. What that means is this is a service cord that is junior service rated, usually 300 volt rated. This is oil resistant, both on the inner and outer jackets. So that is, here's your outer jacket and here's your insulation on the actual wire. And both of these are rated for oil resistance and W. And that means it's weatherproof, not weatherproof, but susceptible to water and you could use this outdoors for a um, extension cord, for example. 
All right, so another marking that we had on the cord was what voltage level the jacket was actually rated to. So typically 600 volt and 300 volt in a residential space is going to be the rating that you see. And the reason is, is because typical US voltages coming into your house is 240 volts and 120 volts. And so you don't need an insulation rating greater than 300 volts because in your home, you only have a max voltage of 240 volts. Another marking that's gonna be on your cable is identifying how many wires are actually in that cable, right? So here is an example of what Romex is stamped as. So this is 12-2 which means there's number 12 wires and there's two of them and then with ground. So this means that there's three wires total. So two phase conductors, usually a phase and a neutral and a ground wire. So there's three wires total in your Romex. Another way you'll see this is also three slash C, which equals three conductors as well. And you'll have a pound sign, 16, 14, 12, whatever the number is, and that's gonna be your wire size. So one of the last markings that you're gonna see is either UL or CSA typically. And so what these are, are certifications from uh, National Recognized Testing Labs, which is a NRTO. And this is saying that power cord has been certified and tested and is fit for use for that certain application. So in the, say, SVT scenario, it is a UL listed cable, and it's saying the cable is able to be used for a vacuum and is safe to be used in America. All right, and so one of the last markings that you're gonna see is the temperature rating. And so a couple common temperature ratings on uh, power cords is gonna be 60, 75, 90, and 105 degrees C. I don't know why it's in C. It's just a rating that power cords and electrical equipment come in and that's just the way it is. But obviously higher the temperature rating, the better the cable because it can withstand more heat. All right, so why does having the correct cable matter? I think I've narrowed it down to two things. One, voltage, and two, what application you are using the cord in. So obviously one, have the correct voltage rated cable for the voltage that you have applied to that cable. Two, make sure whatever application that you're doing, you have the properly rated cable. Um, for a couple example, right? You have your SVT cable, so this is your vacuum cable. You're not gonna use that outdoors, right? Because it's an indoor rated cable. Um, let's go to NM. NM cable or Romex is rated for 600 volts, but it is not rated for a wet location or rated to be used outside. So make sure you know your indoor outdoor, your temp rating, whether it's light or heavy duty. Um, I like to use the SJ OOW cords for heavier duty applications in a residential situation. That mostly is going to be your power tools and your garage applications. So that's going to be your extension cords and your power tools. So just making sure you have a listed cord for the application that you're doing is very crucial. All right, that's gonna wrap up this video on how to read a power cord. Hope you learned something today. If you like this kind of content, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.